Welcome to Building Speed. Our question today is from D. Patrick and T. Yuri Jr. and they'd like to know why the heck can't they make tires that don't smoke so much when you skid? Well, thanks for the question. Actually, they probably could make tires that don't smoke so much when they skid, but I'm guessing you probably wouldn't enjoy driving on them very much. You have to understand why tires make smoke in the first place. So if you think about what makes up a tire, it's actually made up of a lot of different things. There's the rubber, but there's also oils. There are vulcanization agents, sulfides, and zinc oxides that help hold the polymer molecules of the rubber together. And then there are fillers, materials like carbon black and silica, which are used to improve the mechanical properties of the material. Take your hands and rub them together very quickly. They get warm very fast. A tire on the racetrack experiences the same thing. Under normal circumstances, a tire very easily reaches 250, 275 degrees Fahrenheit. If you take the tire and put it into a skid or a burnout, you're actually generating an awful lot more friction. And what happens is that the tire literally starts to disintegrate. And so what you get out of it is a lot of vapor and a lot of very small pieces of tire. When Goodyear makes a tire, they have a couple possibilities. They can make a tire that's very soft and very grippy. The problem is a tire like that is gonna wear quickly. And that means also when you skid it, it's gonna create a lot of smoke. The alternative is for them to create a harder tire. A harder tire doesn't wear as, as easily. However, you're not going to be able to go as fast because you're not going to have as much grip. So in order for a tire not to generate a lot of smoke, there's going to have to be an awful lot of hardness to it. And that's not going to be comfortable to race on. And I bet it's not going to be fun to race on either. Now that raises another interesting question, which was first posed by Mike Bagley on the Sirius NASCAR radio channel. And he said, look, the tire's black, the skid marks are black, why is the smoke white? That's another great question. In order to understand that, you have to know what it is you're looking at when you look at smoke. We see things one of two ways. Either the object gives off light, something like a light bulb or the sun, or the object reflects light from another source. Now normally we look at things that are much larger than the wavelength of light. The wavelength of light is really small between 400 nanometers and 700 nanometers. A nanometer is about one billionth of a meter. So just to give you an idea, if one wavelength of light were equal to the length of a Sprint Cup car, then the California Speedway would stretch from Earth halfway to Venus. Very interesting things happen when you start looking at things that are approximately the same size as the wavelength of light. Now, tires are very complicated, so let's look at something a little simpler. Go get a pan of water, put it on the stove and bring it to a full boil. And then look right at the surface of the water and maybe an inch or two above. And you should see nothing. That's right, water vapor is invisible. But if you look a little bit higher, you'll see what we would call steam and it's white. What's going on there? Well, water vapor by itself is just a collection of water molecules. As the water molecules move further and further from the surface of the water, they start to agglomerate and they form very small collections, very small droplets of water. When you put light on something that's approximately the same size as the light's wavelength, the object will scatter the light back exactly the way it came in. So if I put white light on the steam, I'm gonna see white steam. If I put blue light on the steam, I'm gonna see blue steam. I'm not actually looking at those very small water droplets, I'm looking at the light that's being scattered off them. So two very different situations, but it's the exact same thing with tire smoke. You're not looking at the very small particles that are coming off the tire. You're looking at the light that's being scattered by those very small particles, which happen to be of approximately the same size as the wavelength of light. Now, carbon black is what makes tires black. Carbon black is made, not surprisingly, of carbon. Carbon has a very high melting point. So even the heat of a skid is not gonna affect the carbon black. The carbon is an amorphous form. It's much more like graphite than like diamond. So when the tire skids across the track, a lot of what you see there deposited on the track is carbon black and small pieces of rubber. Now, if you've ever seen a tire fire, you know that that gives you really nasty looking, yucky, ugly, black, smelly smoke. That's a totally different process. There, you're actually breaking down the rubber that forms the tire. And when you start burning those hydrocarbons at a high temperature, you get a lot of carbon soot. People who are in drifting 
actually use tires that have been treated with different colored dyes so that you can make different colored smoke, but not in NASCAR, where in general the idea is to keep the smoke down. If you're a teacher and you're interested in using motorsports to get your kids interested in math and science, please see us at buildingspeed.org for more materials and more information. Thanks.